Hello and welcome to the assembly video for the Rocky Mountain Sauna's Big Bear model. When the sauna arrives at its delivery location, it will be packaged in three separate boxes, which are banded to a pallet. The unit will also be half crated for extra shipping protection. Break down the pallet at the delivery point and lay each box flat with the labeling facing up. The boxes are labeled numerically, 1, 2, and 3, to indicate the order in which to open the boxes. Open all boxes first and carry each individual panel to the desired installation location. Do not try to carry a full box. Stage the sauna pieces prior to beginning installation to help aid in the ease of the installation. Starting with the floor base, lay it in the area close to where the sauna is going to be permanently located. It is suggested to place furniture sliders under the base for ease of movement. Sliders can be found at any local hardware store. The positioning of the floor base should be such that the floor heater is facing outward, or closest to where the front wall will be installed. A label indicating the front of the floor base can be found by the heater panel to help aid in the proper positioning of the floor base. The floor base includes trim pieces on all four sides that serve as guides for the installation of the four walls, as well as the bench heater panels. Starting with the back wall, place the back wall on the floor base so the interior side of the wall sits flush with the floor trim. One person will need to balance the wall to hold it in place. The glass door on the front wall will be secured to keep the door from opening or closing during installation. Removal of the glass door support should be completed prior to the right wall being installed. To ensure the glass door does not open or shut slightly, carry this wall at a slight angle with the bottom of the wall slightly out compared to the top. Place the interior of the front wall on the floor base so it sits flush with the floor trim. One person will need to balance the front wall to hold it in place. The left side wall will be the third piece added. Using the floor trim as a guide, place the left side wall on the floor base. If needed, Gently tap the left side wall in to ensure a snug fit. The left side wall includes trim pieces on both sides that will wrap around the back and the front walls. While one person supports the front and back walls, a second person inserts the installation bolts supplied in the accessories box into the pre-drilled holes on the left side wall connecting it to the front and back walls. No certain order of installing the bolts is required. At this time, finger tighten the bolts. A screwdriver or hex driver may be used to tighten the bolts slightly, but leave some slack to facilitate in the completion of the installation. A final tightening of the installation bolts will be performed later. If needed, adjust the front and back walls slightly in order to get the pre-drilled holes to align correctly. Install the left bench heater panel by bringing it through the opening on the right side of the sauna. A label is located on top of the left bench heater panel, indicating which side needs to be placed facing up. Place the bench heater panel between the guides found on the bottom of the front wall with the heater panel facing the door. Lastly, ensure the heater cord is placed behind the left bench heater panel. Install the right bench heater panel by bringing it through the opening on the right side of the sauna. A label is located on the top of the right bench heater panel, indicating which side needs to be placed facing up. Place the right bench heater panel between the guides found on the bottom of the front wall with the heater panel facing the door. Lastly, ensure the heater cord is placed behind the left bench heater panel. Install the back bench heater panel by bringing it through the opening on the right side of the sauna. A label is located on the top of the back bench heater panel indicating which side needs to be placed facing up. First, place the back bench heater panel between the guides found on the bottom of the left side wall. Next, adjust the left bench heater panel to align correctly with the guides found on the left side of the back bench heater panel. Lastly, adjust the right bench heater panel to align correctly with the guides found on the right side of the back bench heater panel. Two power cords are located behind the back bench heater panel, one for the floor heater and one for the bench heater. Plug each cord into the receptacle on the back wall. Locate the pre-drilled hole in the bench seat. This hole indicates which side of the bench seat to place against the interior of the back wall. Bring the bench seat in through the right side of the sauna, then lay horizontal for installation. Wait to install the anchoring screw into the back bench seat until later. Right side wall installation is next. 
Align trim pieces on the bottom of the right side wall with the backbench heater panel. Lift the right side wall slightly higher than the floor base and bring the wall in at a slight angle to line up the trim pieces and the wall. The right side wall includes trim pieces on both sides that wrap around the back and front walls. Any adjustments that need to be made to align the walls can be done at this time. Insert the remaining installation bolts into the pre-drilled holes to connect the right side wall with the front and back walls. Again, only finger tighten the bolts. If needed, use a screwdriver or a hex driver to tighten the bolts, but do not tighten completely. One power cord is located behind the left bench heater panel. Plug the cord into the receptacle on the left side wall. Locate the pre-drilled hole in the bench seat. This hole indicates which side of the bench seat to place against the interior of the left side wall. Bring the bench seat in through the glass door of the sauna, then lay horizontal for installation. Wait to install the anchoring screw into the left bench seat until later. One power cord is located behind the right bench heater panel. Plug the cord into the receptacle on the right side wall. Locate the pre-drilled hole in the bench seat. This hole indicates which side of the bench seat to place against the interior of the right side wall. Bring the bench seat in through the glass door of the sauna, then lay horizontal for installation. Wait to install the anchoring screw into the right bench seat until later. The roof cap has seven pre-drilled holes to pass through the wiring protruding from the top of the front, back, and side walls. Three holes are in the front of the roof cap, one hole on each side, and two in back of the roof cap. The curved end of the roof cap is the front. Carefully place the roof cap on the top of the sauna. It does not need to sit flush with the walls at this time since the power cables need to be fed through the pre-drilled holes. On the left-hand side of the front wall, above the control panel, are three cables. Run the black 120-volt heater plug through the hole on the right. Feed the black quarter-inch coax FM antenna and the beige Cat5 cable through the remaining hole. On the right-hand side of the front wall are two plugs. The pin jack coming from the roof cap is the power cord for the ionizer. Place this plug on the inside of the sauna to be connected later. Then, run the black 120-volt heater plug through the pre-drilled hole in the front of the roof cap. Do the same with the four remaining black 120-volt heater plugs located on each sidewall and two on the back wall. Once all the cables have been threaded through the roof cap holes, place the roof cap securely onto the walls of the sauna. To make the electrical connections on the top of the roof cap, start with the cables above the control panel. Connect the Cat5 connector, the 120 volt power cord, and the antenna cord to their corresponding connections on the top of the sauna. Continue to make the additional 120 volt power cord connections around the top of the sauna. Install the cover provided onto the roof cap to keep the roof cap free of dust. Feed the power cord and the radio antenna through the hole provided to allow the cover to sit flush on the roof cap. If desired, screws are provided in the accessories box to attach the dust cover to the roof cap. Attachment is not required. Using a screwdriver or a hex driver, perform a final tightening of the installation bolts on the left and right side walls. If the installation bolts do not tighten easily or interior trim pieces do not align correctly, adjust any walls as needed until all walls fit flush with one another. Do not over tighten the bolts as doing so can cause damage to the wood cabin. Using the two and a quarter inch bench screws provided in the accessories box, secure the bench seats to the bench seat supports. The door handle will come packaged in a separate box, generally located in box 1. In order to install the door handle, it must first be disassembled using a screwdriver. Start the disassembly with the four screws located on the cross sections of the door handle. The half of the handle containing the screw holes will be the section placed on the inside of the glass door. The other half of the handle will be placed on the outside of the glass door. Once the two halves have been separated, remove the two screws from the interior cross sections of the handle. Included with each of the two screws are a metal cone, two plastic washers, and two metal washers. 
Remove these items from the door handle, keeping all but one metal washer and one plastic washer together. Slide the screw with the threaded parts through the top hole found in the blast door from the inside of the door facing out. Add one plastic washer to the end of the screw now showing on the outside of the door. Place the remaining metal washer onto the screw with the flat side against the plastic washer. Place the outside portion of the door handle, the one without screw holes, on the end of the screw so the handle fits into the recessed portion of the metal washer. Use a screwdriver to connect the assembly to the handle. Use caution when tightening the screw to avoid causing damage to the door. The holes on each side of the cone must be placed horizontally at 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock to accommodate the installation of the remaining half of the handle. Install the bottom portion of the handle using the same steps. Place the inside portion of the door handle onto the upper and lower screw heads so that the handle fits into the recessed part of the metal washers. Insert one small screw into the hole on the top cross section of the handle and tighten. Repeat for the bottom cross section of the handle. Move to the inside of the handle and repeat for the next two screws. If an alignment issue with the screw holes is encountered, Turning the handle 180 degrees will solve the issue. Installation of the optional accessories can be completed at this time. The accessories can be placed wherever desired or not used at all. Thank you for watching the installation video for the Rocky Mountain Sauna's Big Bear model. We look forward to assisting in your health and relaxation needs. For more information or to check out other models, please visit our website at RockyMountainSaunas.com or call us at 888-358-1270.